All right, it is haul time once again. Uh, today is March 18th, 2015. Uh, I'd like to show you some of the action figures and Transformers toys that I picked up in the last couple weeks. Um, we'll do a separate video on my Hot Wheels haul for that matter. So, got a lot to show you. It's a mini haul, it's not that big. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a bit, so let's get right to it. First thing I picked up, Black Series, 6-inch, Bosk. Uh, been meaning to get this one. Uh, hobby shops were selling them at way, uh, you know, above uh, retail price, but you get them cheaper if you buy the whole case. I didn't need the whole case. Uh, I just needed this one from the Wave. I didn't really need the Stormtrooper Han Solo. So, interesting. Uh, I thought the sculpt was pretty good. Might do a review. No, I'll do a review of this one, definitely. So, that way. More action figures. Uh, these just started popping up at local retail stores and hobby shops. Um, I didn't get them at retail stores. I got them at uh, Kramer, Toy Warden. Uh, if you collect a lot of action figures, you know that they're this store in Green Hills here in Manila. It's called Kramer, uh, Toy Warden. They had these. I got them at just below retail price if I bought the entire set. The Marvel Legends... 2015 Infinite Series Avengers Thanos build a figure wave. This is from the Age of Ultron Avengers, Age of Ultron, the Mark 43, Iron Man, pretty neat. Put that there. Boss right here. Okay, then we got Batroc, the high kicking villain. Batroc, if he's French, Batroc. You got the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron Captain America. Yes, yet another Captain America figure. But it's a movie figure, so what the heck. I didn't I didn't open up my previous the Avengers movie one figure, so you're gonna see these opened up. Definitely because I need my Thanos. You got Hulk. Again, I didn't open up the the Bruce Banner from the from the move first movies uh, toy line. So we're gonna open that one up. And the uh, the ladies of this wave, the variants, uh, Spider Woman, uh, Fierce Fighters. Wow, great, great description. Spider Woman and Hellcat, both have the same BAF part. You don't need to get both, but if you're Marvel Legends collector, like, yeah, I get both. So that's the Thanos wave. Pretty neat. Definitely gonna do a review review of that. You know, you can expect that. All right, uh, a few things on clearance. I was surprised these just came out. First time we've seen them on stores, and they were immediately at 30% off because some of the older figures were 30%. I got a bunch of these V-Cons. These, these aren't deluxe class figures. These are power battlers figures that transform in, what, one, two, three, four, five, six steps. So, interesting. Uh, nice army building figure, especially that they're on clearance right now. And not a lot of collectors have been picking them up because they're uh, they're for kids, supposedly. Alright, um, these this Transformers robot in this guy's toys are really growing on me. Much like the show. The show is pretty awesome. So, whatever toys they, they've come up, Hasbro's come up with, I'm sort of inclined to get them. But... I was lucky enough to wait uh, for a weekend mall sale uh, where Toy Kingdom goes on a 20% discount on regular items if you're there early. So I did pick up the second wave of the one-step changers, for, quick changers for the Transformers robots in this guy's toy line. We got Steeljaw. Mm, okay. Fix it, finally. My first fix it figure. I uh, can't wait for the small one. The really small one. Uh, but this one looks neat. Uh, it does just have a nice little transformation to it. And then we got Grimlock. Again, small <laughs> Grimlock. And uh, yeah, I think he, he might... Oh yeah, you squeeze the legs right there. We'll see. It looks interesting. We'll definitely do a review of that. Uh, more robots in this guy's figures. I got these at 20% off, 19% off. The Legion class. Man, these things are so tiny. About the scale of Legends class from the movie line for the cartoon line, they're called Legion, I think. They're really small but highly detailed. You got Bumblebee, definitely sideswipe, one of the most in demand figures in the wave. You got Grimlock, 
you gotta complete the team, right? You got strong arm. I already have Optimus Prime. Picked it up because I thought it was neat. Of course, you gotta get this guy, the big baby, Steel Jaw. He's really, really small. You thought Bumblebee was small? Look at how small this guy is. Uh, toe, to, toe, head to toe. Look at that. But anyway, what can you do? And the prices have jacked up, like a dollar fifty higher than previous Legion class figures. All right, last of my um, robots in disguise haul, I got the second wave, wave two of the Warrior class, deluxe class series of figures. You got Drift and Optimus Prime. Yeah, I know Optimus Prime is pretty small. And Drift is, again, as well, a little bit smaller than the cartoon and how they were in the cartoons, but we'll see. We'll see. Looks, looks interesting. Definitely doing a review of those. All right. Uh, these I picked up at a local hobby shop called Great Toys Online. I don't know if you guys have heard of it outside the U.S., but these haven't appeared as of today, March 18th, 2015. These have not come out in Toys R Us or Toy Kingdom here in Manila, but they, they have come out at a local hobby shop. So I decided to pick them up. They were like $2 more expensive. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> $2.50 more expensive than regular retail. But I couldn't wait any longer. I gotta pick them up. The second wave of the deluxe class figures from the Transformers Generations Combiner War series. The Stunticons. We got Breakdown. We already got um, Drag Strip, so that's fine. Dead End. You can finally, I can finally form Menasaur. And these ones are interesting. They do come with the comic books. The first wave of Aerial Bots and Drag Strip didn't come with comic books. I guess Hasbro will have to re-release those figures with the comic books. I suppose. And we got uh, Wild, Wild Rider. It looks like Wild Rider, but it's not. It's Off-Road. You know, something Hasbro had to do because they had to recycle this way, this mold into Ironhide, into First Aid, into whatever. So instead of releasing Wild Rider, they decided to release an unknown guy. Maybe in the comic books it was Off-Road. I haven't actually read the the IDW comic books showing Menasaur, but it could be him. But if you're a G1 collector, you know it should have been Wild Rider. Hopefully we get Wild Rider for Takara, or maybe a Toys R Us exclusive, whatever. And the last of the Aerial Bots, which is a repaint of Skydive, we get Air Raid, Redeco, my bad. And he comes in a comic book. So, all we're missing is Slingshot. Superion is ready to go. Hopefully we get it, we get the Hasbro version. If not, we're gonna go get the Takara version. Last couple things, more Transformers. Last of my Transformers haul. Takara Tomy, Deluxe Class, or the Transformers Legend. Number 12 and number 10. I didn't get Chromium because I didn't feel the need to get another Chromium figure. Uh, but these two, this one, is, the Chromium was just, I think, more, I don't know if it was cardinal accurate, but accurate. But he had, she had the purple skin instead of the gray skin. This one is the show accurate RC, the cartoon accurate RC, where uh, no black pieces, but they replace it with white pieces. Instead of the black joints, you get white. So Takara did a good job on this one. And the more accurate colored guns. So I had to get this one. And because the Hasbro version of the RC and Chrome are very scarce here in Manila, they haven't come out in regular retail. Hobby shops are like pricing them the same price as import products. Like this. I paid the amount of a Voyager class figure just to get this one and this one, which is what the our, our Hasbro version of RC and Chromium are going for nowadays because they didn't come out on retail. Kind of sucks, but what can you do? And this is the more comic book accurate Windblade. I had to get this one because of the comic book accuracy. You get the white nose cone, the predominantly red colored uh, body of the jet. So more comic book. I end up in the face paint. The uh, more accurate uh, Kabuki uh, paint paint apps, I think, on this one. So really glad to have this one. And lastly, last thing I picked up is uh, I'm supposed to get the Generations Leader Class Megatron Combiner Wars, but it hasn't come in yet. So we'll do another review of that, another video review, video haul video of that. Um, sadly, but this one I picked up at R Toys. My go-to store for Transformers and Robots. Kramer has been my go-to now for uh, action figures. Did pick up the 40th anniversary of the Soul of Chagokin, Mazinger Z. 
Um, not you go, those of you outside the U.S. You probably don't know this figure, but I was a kid. This was the first cartoon, robot cartoon I watched way before Transformers came into the picture. I was a big Mazinger Z fan, and he was called Transor Z or Mazinger Z X, whatever. But he was Mazinger Z, and I I wanted a Mazinger Z toy for the longest time, just like I wanted a Voltus Five toy, and I never got one when I was a kid. Now that it's come out, the 40th anniversary, I'm just so stoked to actually get one. Just really, really happy. So there you go, folks. That's my little toy haul uh, for the first few weeks of March and of February 2015. I hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, expect a lot of reviews. No reviews for this one, not in the near future, because this one's just, I I'm like to save it mint. Mint, mint in box for a while but no reviews on that takara figures quite possibly no reviews on that one i like to keep them in box because it's exactly the same as hasbro except for the paint apps but i will do reviews of all of the ones at the back except um no no everything uh, avengers you can you can expect reviews of the thanos wave soon um uh, menasaur and superion definitely doing that the um v cons the legion class Robots and guys, the Lost Clash robots and guys, and definitely this guy, Bosk. Can't wait to crack him open. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed my little toy haul, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks.